Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'll talk about the artificial kidney. The artificial kidney is a device which um, is connected to the human body in order to carry out the function of the kidney in case of the kidney failure. So, this artificial kidney carries out a process which is called hemodialysis. Hemo dialysis. Hemo, because it's connect, it's uh, related to the blood. Dialysis for the process of filtering the blood. Um, so, in the book, there is a drawing and there is a text after that. In the drawing, there are two tubes, or uh, they are cellulose tubules. They are made of cellulose and they are inserted in the human's left hand in the vein. And uh, this is right. But in the text after that, it said that these two tubes are connected to the artery. So I searched the internet and on Wikipedia I found um, this picture. And in this picture here, we can see that it's connected to the vein and this is the uh, right way to be connected to the vein of the human body and also there is another point we can see that the vein and the artery they are both uh, connected to each other and this is not in the human body this is a surgical operation to, um, to uh, make this point of connection which is called fistula So that this fistula is important in the process of hemodialysis. Uh, this takes from four to six weeks in order to mature and to take its shape in order to connect the vein and the artery together. Uh, the blood, as we know, that the veins carry the uh, blood from the organs to the heart. So, as the blood passes through the vein coming from the organs, it, instead of going to the artery, first it passes through the first tube in the uh, artificial kidney. So, it passes through this tube and enters the, the device of dialysis. Uh, this device contains loops in which uh, the tube has small pores so the glucose, water, mineral salts and waste path uh, from the tube into the solution and this solution is renewed in order not to be uh, in order to be healthy and contain uh, all the body uh, elements that it needs during this process um, and in order not to let all these elements go outside the body, the uh, solution contains equivalent amounts of glucose, water and mineral salts. So it's very similar to the process of urine extraction which takes place inside the uh, human body in the kidneys by means of the nephrons. So after the blood is filtered, it returns once more through the other or the second tube and it continues its way it returns through the fistula and goes through the arteries to um, in order to um, move inside the body and complete its circulation. Um, so this is the point of the artificial kidney. It's very similar to the, uh, the process of urine extraction through the nephrons. There are other ways of treating the kidney failure such as um, kidney implant or to transplant a new kidney inside the human body and this is uh, more relieving to the, to the patient so that he doesn't have to go every uh, two, from two to three times every week in order to carry out the hemodialysis process through the artificial kidney and this process takes several hours 
but it's difficult to find the the right kidney so that the body doesn't um, so that the body can accept this kidney and work with it. And there is another treatment which is called the uh, the peritoneum peritoneum dialysis. And this by uh, filtering the contents of the peritoneum membrane which surrounds the abdominal cavity. And this is it for today. The next time we will talk about the excretion and plants. And until then, thank you for watching and see you.